Motorcycles give us so many choices, don't they? I mean, we've got Harley Davidson, Indian, Triumph, Suzuki, Yamaha, et cetera, et cetera. The list goes on and on. But what I'd like for us to do today is narrow the focus and talk about some specific soft tails and some specific baggers. Now, if there's any of these that you ride or if they're your favorites as well, let me know in the comments below. That'd be fantastic. But first, what we need to do, we need to define our terms and say what a soft tail is and what a bagger is. Soft tails were introduced by Harley Davidson in 1984 and have a swing arm for a more comfortable ride versus, well, a hard tail. The entire swing arm is designed so that it fades into the frame and isn't easily seen using hidden springs and shock absorbers that are mounted underneath the frame. Soft tails provide suspension to the rear wheel and make the ride much more comfortable. Now a bagger is a touring motorcycle that includes a large fairing for wind deflection, is designed for comfort, long distance riding, and comes with saddlebags for carrying whatever you need it for. These motorcycles are usually known by other names like Street Glide, Road Glide, Road King, and is the bread and butter of the Harley Davidson fleet. Now let's jump in and take a quick look at some of my favorite soft tails before we move on to the baggers. The Harley Davidson Street Bob. I've always been a huge fan of the Street Bob, and at one time I was actually very close to buying one. The motor is extremely powerful with the 114 and the low weight of the motorcycle. The bike is extremely easy to maneuver and is just so much fun to ride. If you're in the market for a soft tail, this bike is perfect to start with. The Street Bob weighs in at about 655 pounds and comes with the Milwaukee 8 114. The Street Bob has a 3.5 gallon tank and should get you around 47 miles per gallon. Take a test ride and let me know what you think. The Harley Davidson Fat Boy. Big old tires and that iconic Harley attitude is what the Fat Boy is all about. I've been able to test ride a Fat Boy two or three times now and while it is a great motorcycle, it does require quite a bit more effort to get into the curves on this one. You're gonna take a lot of wind, but what a great motorcycle for riding and having a good time. At 699 pounds, it's got a Milwaukee 8 114, five gallon tank, and again, right around 47 miles per gallon. The Lowrider ST. We all know what I think of the Lowrider ST, don't we? I love this motorcycle so much that I bought one. And so far, it is the best Harley Davidson motorcycle I have ever owned. This bike can do it all, around town, commuting to work, long distance touring. Yep, this motorcycle is completely customizable. And look at that fairing, it is so awesome. The Lowrider ST weighs in around 721 pounds and comes with a Milwaukee 8 117. The Lowrider ST has a five gallon tank and should get you around, again, 47 miles per gallon. If you want more Lowrider ST content, just check out my channel. So that's it for the soft tails. Now let's talk about three of the most iconic baggers in the Harley Davidson lineup. The Harley Davidson Road King. I used to own a 2018 Road King back before my YouTube days. The Road King is the perfect motorcycle if you want the ability to hit the road for days, to carry gear, but maybe you just don't want all the technology such as the infotainment systems. The Road King is another iconic Harley Davidson motorcycle and I really wouldn't be surprised if one day I end up with one again. The Road King weighs in at 807 pounds and comes with the Milwaukee 8 114 engine. The Road King has a six gallon tank and should get around 43 miles per gallon. Don't underestimate this bagger in the lineup because they are a favorite of many riders. The Harley Davidson Road Clyde. I've grown to love this motorcycle more and more. The large fairing on this bike really keeps the wind away from you and the fairing storage is a huge bonus. The Road Glide was first released in 1998 and has steadily picked up in popularity through the years. And from my understanding, it's now outselling the Street Glide. Currently, the Road Glide comes in the standard, special, limited, ST, and CVO models. 
The Road Glide weighs in at 853 pounds. The Special comes in the 114, the 117 for the CVO and the ST. The Road Glide has a six gallon tank and you should get around 43 miles per gallon. On a side note, most of my buddies that I ride with have Road Glides and they love them. The Harley Davidson Street Glide. The Batwing fairing is exactly what I think of when Harley comes to mind. So far I've owned two Street Glides and both of them have been exceptional motorcycles. Harley released the first Street Glide in 1984 and since they have consistently been a fantastic seller for the motor company as they continue to refine and build on the motorcycle. The Street Glide comes in standard, special, ST, and CVO. The Street Glide weighs in at 827 pounds. The Special gets the 114. The CVO and the ST get the 117. The Street Glide has a six gallon tank and you'll get around 43 miles per gallon. Well, thank you guys very much for spending a little bit of time with me today. I'll tell you what, if you would hit that thumbs up button, show your support for the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, take a look at my channel. If there's anything that you find interesting on there, please consider subscribing. I hope you guys have an excellent day and we'll talk to you again soon.